Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup episode number 4. And we've found ourselves in quite a little pickle here. Just in case you've forgotten, last episode we fell through a shaft that took us down two levels. We fall through a shaft for two floors. The shaft crumbles and collapses. The funny thing is, at that point in time, excuse me, uh, we were already kind of in trouble. We were having trouble figuring out how to deal with a, uh, I don't even remember what the heck was it that we were trying to deal with. We can't even see what the a floor above us is, so I can't even go back to that floor. That's fine. So we were kind of wondering what might be the best way of dealing with this situation, and I don't think there's a great way. I mean, there's not one way which is going to save us for sure. Um, I think that we're going to try to use some wands here, even though our evocation skill is just not good. Um, we'll probably end up using, I mean, why don't we use this, why don't we just use this mirror? And it says... And mirror shatters, your shouts, the should, your should, it says in stereo. Um... I don't know what happened. That might not have been a good decision. <laughs> we got some dramatic music playing here. Let me just turn down a pinch. I don't know if that was the right move. Let's find out what we can do. What else we can do? Ice Blast is going to be really good, so let's just use this enslavement. 67% on, let's say, this guy. Okay, so far so good. We, uh, there's our, our clone. Here's our another dude. We, you know, we might we might just do this. We're gonna use these wands, which I don't think have a whole lot of value to save for the late game. Let's enslave this guy too. Hooray! <laughs> it's just now, unfortunately, enslaving them means that we won't get their XP, which is the main reason why I almost never do this. But I think we should look at this. This two-headed ogre is actually going down. I want to I want to get out of here, don't I? Why did I move down? Well, let's go ahead and evoke whoops, um, our Ice Blast. This is going to be extremely loud, but I think it's worth it to try to save us at this point. Okay, killed somebody. And I think we can wait just one turn and kill this guy. We did. So far, so good. Our two-headed ogre has shimmered and vanished. They actually did kill some things here. We have... I mean, I imagine those are just two orcs. Unfortunately, right now we have... Oh boy. How bad is a hornet right now? Thankfully, we're immune to poison. <laughs> have I told you that we're immune to poison? So, yeah, so far so good. I th We might... We might. Oh god. That's not too bad, actually. Hopefully my summons take care of this guy. Okay, let's kill this guy. Um, did we get drained though? We don't, it doesn't say drained. I don't know how draining works. It used to be that you would be drained. Feel your power leaking away. So, what power leaked away? I don't see any. We set two for evocations? Okay, yeah. So we got a whole lot of experience from that. Let's rest for a little bit. Oh, these guys, enslavement has ended. So we'll kill them. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, we have somehow kept ourselves alive. Well, this is, this is good. I think that, that could have gone very poorly. Um, one advantage to us is that we are um, engorged. Uh, we are in like really good shape as far as dead bodies go. Oh dear. Uh, I'm going to try to keep that stock going as well, as much as possible. We did, um, We the ice blast is extremely loud. This is a plus one hand axe of chopping. Well, is it better than our flail? Maybe. It's cool. yeah, I mean, it would be quite good. Let me just rest our mana back. Okay, let's see what this shop has. Money's no good on a dead person. That is a great item. We will put that on our shopping list. You can just, if you use the capital version, so D, lowercase, buys it. But capital D, shift D, um, puts it on your shopping list. And then you can look, you can just hit the money sign, so shift four, to look at that anytime later. I think that that's a great item for us. Um, strength, dexterity, resistance to cold. So this is maybe just a simply better item. But wait, what are we wearing right now? We might... 
I mean, no, both those items are interesting, but we might not want to buy either of them considering our scale mail of, I mean, resist poison, but regen is extremely good. You know what? We might be okay. We have such a good item. I, I really feel like we should have a better weapon by now. Having trained in maces and all that, I don't feel like it's the right, necessarily the right decision to switch to axes. Um, what the hell? Oh god, he's got he's got a a wand of disintegration. <laughs> I I could have read that down here, but I was not reading it. Anyways, now we have a wand of disintegration, so. Joke's on him. Well, not really. He did hit us with it. So I'm going to explore by hand here. I do not trust auto-explore. We're going to explore in a circle. We're just going to keep making... Is it... No, I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can basically decide to just go up on a random place. Um, especially if we can't get back down. Sorry, adjusting the music again. What is this? A wand of... Uh, oh, it's a glowing... Okay, so we don't... We don't know what this is? Scattershot! That's amazing! That's a very good one. Okay. Oh, this is a very dangerous floor, though. I don't like this design at all. I mean, maybe because I've had this design and very scary things happened. <laughs> I think Hydras, five-headed Hydras, six-headed Hydras... I mean, maybe we're equipped to deal with those, especially because we are using a flail. Wow. What's our chance of banishment? That's the only thing I care about. That's the only thing we will not survive. 100% chance we will die if we're banished. No banishment. Summon demon. I mean, not, not a whole lot of great stuff. He's kind of following us. Okay, well... I kind of wanted to grab him in the end because it would have been nice to get him solo. We'll continue our circular movement. By the way, why am I doing a circular movement? It doesn't really make sense. I I don't want to explore this floor. I, I just want to find an upstairs, but we have found an upstairs. The thing is, it's a one way. Let's go back here, though, and see if we can find something around here. I mean, I'd like to stay here because this is still an emergency escape route. Sky Beast, I think we're okay because we can see invisible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stand on... Well, I don't want to go that way because I haven't explored yet. Look at these guys I should be able to handle. No, no. We're not going to fight this guy. We're just going to wait for him to come to us. I mean, we will fight him. We will not chase him. Okay, there we go. Um, I'll take the potion, though. May I? Now, I want to use this upstairs as my new circular exploring point. Okay, downstairs, not not exactly what I was going for. So, up we go. This way now. Okay, let's keep exploring down the paths in parallel. Oh, thank goodness. Just want to make sure it's a little bit clear around here because I may need to come back down. Okay. Oh, and there's another upstairs. Where will it take us? I don't know. But we have a great place to start our... That's a lot of stuff. Oh, oh boy. I think we're just going to do this. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> we're back. Arolka's here. That's right. That's what we were trying to avoid. Well, the good news is, oh, vampiric mosquito, vampire mosquito, sorry. Interesting. It, it stepped on the teleport trap. I thought that when they step on the teleport trap, I disappear. Well, okay. Ah! Well, I'll just fight him. We're doing okay. I mean, the, the regeneration, the health regeneration we have is, is really great. That's right. The reason why I don't want to fight Oroka is because magic. Okay, we're heading towards her. Like, this might just be the point where we decide it's time to go to the lair. Where I don't know if anything can banish us. 
I don't think so. Off the top of my head, nothing comes to mind. Woo! We made it! We are safe! Okay, that, that was that was exciting. Uh, that was very exciting. <laughs> Terrifying. But we survived and, you know, we're hopefully better off for it. The thing I am looking for, I, I, I think it's clear to me I need a better weapon. I want something which can do a little bit more damage. I'll stay near these upstairs as well. Yeah. Um, this floor is almost completely explored too. We just have this area over here. Which is the bad area. The area I don't want to explore. <laughs> and she could be anywhere at this point. I mean, it's been so long since we've been on this floor that she has... Seven tomahawks are returning. So these are kind of fun. Let's actually equip these. No, sorry. Quiver. Uh, y. Tomahawks are returning. Oh, and I see we're on capital Y, which means, yeah, 51 out of 52 slots. We're pretty much... So we can throw these, and they're supposed to return, but they didn't. <laughs> You're supposed to get them back right away. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, uh, not too bad. I don't think a water elemental is going to be too dangerous for me. Engulfing water. Well, we don't actually breathe, so we're okay. One of our special things is you can survive without breathing. Um, one uh, tip I got on the, on, the st on the stream I did was just don't worry about dodging. We have it up to three. I think we'll just leave it there. Eventually, I'll probably set a goal for, like, four or something. The thing is, the reason why I do dodging, the reason why, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. It's a minus two aptitude anyway, so we're not going to be very good at it. But the reason why I... Oh, what? I hate things which are not perfect integers. So, considering we already have enough for 2.1, let's go up to the three. Yeah, so anyways, what I was saying is, um, if you get to... Uh, I mean, for do for dodging, usually what happens is my fighting is really high, it's high enough, my maces and flails are going to get to 16, no problem. I even usually bump this up to 18, because maces and flails are so easy to train. Anyway, what happens is, you end up having these points left over, you're like, okay, well, I can keep improving just my fighting, I can get my shields past 25, but uh, my armor is always good to keep going up and up and up. But it might as well just start throwing on dodging, because... You get all these things where the diminishing returns, it probably makes it worthwhile at that point to just start investing in these really low skill. Okay, I, great sword of freezing. I'm not too worried about whites. They, in general, they drain you. Yeah, they drain skills. So I, I don't know how the drain works. Let's actually invoke a divine shield here. Because I just didn't want to get hit. And with our Divine Shield, there's usually more... Okay. I was going to say there's usually more whites where there's one, but in this case there's not. There's just a whole pack of yaks and water elementals, and we're still benefiting from the extra magical shield, so that's fine with me. Just shift tab. We have a one-on-one -on -one area here, which is okay. We are almost... We got whacked pretty hard by somebody. Yeah, we're too injured to fight recklessly. I think we're okay to keep going, though. Just a, a couple lucky hits and we could have been doomed. So that's why... Oh, but we're up to level 12. I'm still going to put more points in strength. I mean, our dexterity and intelligence are crazily inflated by our current armor. But um, even if they're both at 9, it's just it's more than we need. Okay, there's the extra whites that I, I knew would be coming. Um, plus 1... Or plus 0 mace. I don't think I'm going to use my... Block the white's attack... Um, you blocked the white's attack. Very good. So we didn't take any damage from that guy. We should be able to sit here. Do we have chunks in our inventory? We don't. Okay. Well, let's butcher one. Quit. Eat. Yes. Eat. Yes. We're engorged. Alright, let's let this guy come. Kill. Yeah, corpse is still abundant. So this is a pretty cool plus three great sword of freezing. That's a really good weapon. Unfortunately, um, swords do not cross train with what we have. So 
Um, I think I'll use my Divine Shield again, because these Dwights are going to give us piety anyway. And I just don't want to be drained. Hits you, but does no damage. I mean, this is taking a long time. A lot, a lot longer than I th thought. You feel your power returning. So we did actually take some drain from one of those guys, and now they only give us Cursed Maces. Well, those aren't exactly what I want. Aroka is still around here. This is kind of funny that I, I still haven't found oh, what I'm looking for. You two would be so proud. Uh, plus three function. So those whites usually do give you good stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh lordy. Oh, what happened here? All I know is I can eat that. <laughs> I think that there was something here and there no longer is. Okay. Well, shoot, we have almost cleared the whole floor again. And I'm still going to try to run away from Aroka if I see her. Um, it's a little confusing, by the way. This is not my vision range. This is just my aura, which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't want to have my back to a wall. I mean, I'd like escape options. Okay, that's fine. This is acceptable. I just don't want to run into a situation where Aroka, we have no choice but to fight her. She casts a bunch of spells. We're banished. I'm very nervous. You know what? Let's just play this smart. I'm not even going to go for that one scroll. I'm just going to go over this. Okay, that scroll I'll take. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go back up and let's go to the lair. Where was the lair? Um, where were you? Lair was on dungeon 8. So we have to go up one more floor. Was there anything else we wanted to do? There was like a few of those little traps. I think we're more than well enough equipped now. Uh, do we, like we ever... Yeah, we never did this one, right? Oh, no, that's uh, interesting. Oops. I wanted to hit V to uh, view or investigate, but I didn't do it. Okay, so there's... This was an interesting floor. That doesn't have it. Um, this is gods. I'm just going from floor to floor. This is dungeons like seven or six. Let's go up again. <clears throat> yeah, so the where I'm looking for the little chambers. Am I crazy? I think we already. I met. I think I'm confusing <laughs> the different the stream runs now. Yeah, this is the only thing we have. I would love to go in there and fight those things. I think I could take them, but we don't have any um, like container areas that we haven't fought. We already fought those guys. Okay, so that's that means we just need to go to layer, which means go up two and look for layer, which should be a green area. I guess I'll just search for downs. Oh, dungeon eight. Oh, I went too far. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We're going to Lair. And the good news, is, by the way, about having um, this amulet of Gourmand is we don't have to worry about moving around too much. Let's go ahead and identify these. Aregum Intelligence, is that what the other one is as well? Yeah. We'll put it on just to see what it is. It's a... Just put this one, plus five, okay. Well, both of those are kind of useless to us. I'll go ahead and make a stash outside of lair. Actually, I usually make a stash because <laughs> I am still a hoarder. You can't take the hoarder out of me. I'm still gonna drop both of those. We'll wear or put on, I should say. Um, protection from cold, we'll drop the other. Well, I guess we can keep both protection from the cold if we come up with a situation where we need both. We're carrying around much too, like a lot too much junk. I'm gonna start a new pile for my, uh, just like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. You can't, you can't take this out of me. So let's uh, start another pile for... Um, let's use the tomahawks for now, but I do like the poison needles. So we'll keep the other four tomahawks as well. Uh, we need all those things. We will keep that. We'll keep all this stuff as well. I'm going to drop the enchanted armor. Look at I will do a lot of this organization off camera. Uh, um, I don't mind doing that. But... 
For now, we're just going to drop this. Just the enchant armor. I don't think you need to take that with you. Okay. And that frees up how many spots? Ten spots. So we have something. Going down. This. These guys are actually pretty dangerous. They're very dangerous if you are not immune to poison. But guess what, guys? <laughs> we, are, we are. This is a funny looking level. Okay, let's do the auto-explorer, where I feel a little bit more confident about this. So we should be able to just tab our way through these guys. Oops. And... Curing. Okay. Well, I would, I would really like to see um, major healing. Those are... Oh. These guys. I do want an upstairs for this because blink frogs are actually surprisingly difficult to deal with. I did kill one, we'll kill the crocodiles. So like one on one I can handle them, but this is what they do, they, okay, get out of my way, that's why I need to go. <laughs> it's kind of a pointless door, you will see a lot of those. So I'm even just because I have my regeneration on my armor, it's so po powerful, it's so potent that I can actually just, oops, I can just move around and heal. I mean, this is one of the viable strategies. We'll have to open a door here, unfortunately, but now we just go around in a circle. Who do I want to kill? Who hits for more? 20... 34. Okay, this guy hits for more. We're going to try to kill him first. The crocodile I'm not as worried about. He will bite for up to 20, but he has a harder time hitting us anyway. He's not as, like, good. <laughs> he's not as good of a... He's not as uh, threatening of a creature. Okay, so we regained our health. It's nice that we have regeneration. It's really nice. Staircase leading down. Spork vines just do damage to you when you hit, I think. I don't know if I've ever looked at them. But they're, I mean, I have at some point, but they weren't dangerous. And they I don't think that they are dangerous. We got that amulet. Um, I think that we'll go ahead and read a scroll of identify on that. Because magic regeneration. Wow. It's, it's, we couldn't need that less. <laughs> mm, okay, auto explore. Oops. Black Mamba, very dangerous, very poisonous, yada yada yada, insert typical, we're not going to worry about poison line here. One of the blink frogs we missed. So the auto explorers, it's not crazy intelligent. This is a basilisk, by the way. They're going to turn us to stone, oh no! I think it would be funny if they, instead of turning you to stone, actually healed you. But, um, yeah, it was... Obviously, we basilisk, you don't worry about. You do worry about if you're not a gargoyle. So gargoyles, just, there's so many good side of things. And we can't use the wand of random effects. No, it's not, not in our god's uh, vision of the future that we use anything random. They like order. The shiny one likes order. And are we done? I think we're done. Okay. Well, that's the wrong one to go down. Let's go down this one instead. Uh, you feel an oppressive heat about you. Ooh. Well, we have no resistance to heat. Control find, control F, I should say, heat. Yeah. I Let's read some scrolls. Magic map, mapping is what I'm looking for. I think that nine is going to be... It could be a teleport. We're on and upstairs, so we can read it, and then we end up teleporting... Okay, let's just read this. <laughs> Remove scurs. Okay, good. That's what we expected. Um, hmm. So one of these threes is probably our magic mapping. I don't know. Maybe we should just... That's... <sighs> I think we're just going to go try to find it on our own. It could be very close. It could be far. It's, it is completely random, which is great. I like that, you know, there's not... Uh, it doesn't have to be far away from you. So it really could be right next to you. 
That doesn't look like it's going to be there. We'll go in and, you know, if nothing else, a uh, Wand of Clouds, which we're not allowed to use. I didn't know that um, Shiny Wand disapproved of Wand of Clouds. Huh. An up staircase, which is great. Boy, I, I feel like we're not going to make it to that volcano. Yeah, I do want to read some more scrolls. I think we're just going to go for it. Random uselessness? Okay, that's good. I'll just read more of those. Oh, now we're being attacked. We shouldn't... Ah, we're engorged. So, a <laughs> momentary feeling of inescapable doom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really hate that one of these could be like a bludge and enchant. Like, okay, so weapons. We don't have any good weapons to enchant. It's not a very good weapon to enchant. And we already saw enchant armor, so really... What we could do is use scrolls of identify on scrolls, which I don't like to do. Man, I think we're just going to... The volcano is so bad for us. Like, it's so probably going to kill us that I'm not... I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm hitting shift tab right now so that we don't um, attack. I'm looking on the bottom left right now. I'm not even looking at the screen, which might be a bad idea. I'm just trying to see if the volcano is still doing stuff. The good news is that because we have... Um, regeneration. I am going to go explore a little bit without... Without healing first, because we will heal pretty quickly. Ah, it doesn't look like we are going to find it in time. You hear the rumble of distant avalanche of rock. Oh, we did. We did find it. So let's see how bad the things we find are here. Okay, we didn't find anything. Uh, you know what? This is a great place to put a cut in the video. I don't know if I want to do this. I'm actually going to look up on the crawl wiki um, whether or not I should do this or not. I, I, I suspect that we're going to be killed. <laughs> now we can probably just go down, fight a few things, realize how bad it is, and then just leave. No harm in that, right? Maybe. We'll find out. But until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.